inspired by Mickey Mouse, a simple bee design was created in the 1970s, creating what is arguably the most recognizable fast food chain here in the Philippines. Now with over 1,000 stores nationwide, this mega giant fast food chain with their famous Chicken Joy is home to today's fast food frenzy where we are going to attempt to try every single item on the menu. To start off the day, we uh, got a yum burger with cheese. Very small, kind of, I guess, just their regular kind of cheeseburger with some sauce in it. Not sure what it is. First bite. Mmm, that sauce. Oozy now. It's kind of like a ketchup mayo. It's actually a really good. I'm not a big fan of pickles in the McDonald's cheeseburger. So just having like a super soft, cheap burger. It's actually, it's actually really good. Look at that sauce. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's really yummy. Maybe that's why they call it a yum burger because it's yummy. I got a side of gravy because I absolutely love gravy and I think what will make this better is dipping it in gravy. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that look good? Oh yeah. Double yum. Mm -hmm. So this is the Aloha Champ Junior Burger and it's got pineapple, bacon, cheese, beef patty, lettuce and some sauce in it. I don't know how I feel about pineapple in a burger, but I'm keeping an open mind, so bottoms up. I think this would be yum without the pineapple. I just find it way too weird. I'm a big advocate for no pineapple on pizza. No warm pineapple comes into my life, so I probably have a bad biased opinion that this is already gonna be like a one out of 10. Just like, no. Mm, no, 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 doesn't belong there. This is the crown jewel I have been waiting for. Chicken sandwich, it's a chicken burger, go away with your sandwiches. Mm. So crispy, oh man. That is everything I'd hoped it to be. Mm. Mm. That is spectacular, juicy chicken. Subtle flavors, but I just love fried chicken in a, in a burger. Look at this cross section, like the the batter is so thick and juicy. That is the definition of mouth-watering goodness. Really thick batter. It's really delicious. I think what would make this better is mm, the gravy. I think anything you can add to it is just going to improve it. It's really just straight chicken between buns. Mm. Winning combination. Win a, win a chicken <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> this is their classic cheesy hot dog and I've never actually had a hot dog from a fast food chain so I'm a bit hesitant about this one. But here we go. It's yum. The bun's really soft, a little bit of cheese. It's just like a classic cheap sausage. Nothing spectacular. Tastes good. I would prefer more mounted cheese, but bigger coming cheese is still a pretty solid option. First up is the spicy chicken joy, and you know this thing is spicy just by the coloring. It's a bit red, especially when you compare it to the original. A bit of a colour difference, so yeah, I think it's going to be hot. That is actually very hot. I didn't even get to the chicken, just the coating, and I'm already sweating and my mouth is on fire. Um, that is for the brave at heart, and uh, fire eaters as I call them. In trying to find the chicken, I accidentally took off all that crispy layer. Looks juicy, maybe I'll try I'll try it, I'll go for the chicken. Mmm. That is good, that is. Mmm. Or should I have more of the coating? Let's yeah. That is good. I'm actually glad it's actually, oh. 
I was gonna say it's not a big spice level, but obviously I probably just ate a little bit too much, but this is actually really good, not too spicy for my palate. Really big chunk of chicken. This is actually really good, really good. I know the Chicken Joy is some of the best ranked Jollibee um, items on the menu, but let us know in the comments what your favorite item is from Jollibee. Next up, we have the famous Chicken Joy, which is supposedly the number one ranked uh, menu item here. Let's give this one a go. Mm. Moist chicken. It definitely does rival KFC. Definitely not as greasy. I think I actually prefer the spicy one. That had a lot more um, flavor on the coating. Still really good, but I think today, spicy one is the winner. So next up is the burger steak. It is essentially just a burger patty with mushroom sauce on the top and some hearty mushrooms. It doesn't look the most appetizing. Here we go. Oh wow, this is actually really, really good. I thought it was gonna be awful, but it's actually really yummy. Burger steak time for me. And my first opinion is that it definitely looks like hospital food or something you feed to your cat and dog. Let's get this gravy train going. It's not amazing, but it kind of just tastes like a it's like a microwave ready meal. It's like the quality. It's I feel like no matter where you go in the Philippines, every restaurant is selling spaghetti. I'm here again, giving it a go for you guys. Okay. No, no, give it a mess. Do not like it. It's a sauce and the spaghetti itself is just awful. Don't do that one, avoid it. Now the ill-fated spaghetti. Hayley had it first and her reaction was very unfortunate. The color looks awful. Let's give this one a go. Oh, it's yum. Oh, I like that. I see the, the love for it. If you, you can't really afford, you know, a fancy, fancy Italian handmade pasta, this is not a bad option. Hayley looks a bit concerned behind camera, but I think it's a, like a, a, B, a B minus. Last on the chopping block is dessert. So we have three desserts to try. First up is the Mango Graham Choco Sunday. Uh, we've got a lot of different things coming on in this, so very intrigued. I'll try and get a bit of everything, a bit of the mango, a bit of the chocolate, all of it in one. Oh, okay, here we go. There's so much going on. I feel like it needs to be just mango and graham, or chocolate, and the graham crackers. All three together, the chocolate's really strong, so you lose the mango. So this is a choco float, it's a new menu item. Honestly, I haven't grown up having floats, so I don't really know the correct way to drink them. Are you meant to mix the ice cream in? Let us know in the comments, because we're not too sure. Um, I guess I'll just push it down. <laughs> It's nice, it's an iced chocolate. I think it would be nice when the ice cream starts to melt a bit more and you get a bit more of that creaminess. The ice cream's still a bit hard at the moment, but yeah, this is actually really nice, surprisingly. Last up is a mango peach pie, which sounds amazing. It's a bit smaller than I anticipated. Oh my goodness, look how tiny and cute this is. Uh, definitely a snack size. Oh my goodness. There's not much on the inside. I don't think I got anything in that bite but pastry. It's surprisingly very similar to the McDonald's apple pie. I thought the mango and peach flavor would be stronger but yeah, very similar to McDonald's apple pie. For the last meal, I'm not too sure how I feel about this because I don't really like warm desserts. So this is not really up my alley. I'm more of a sweet um, a chocolate, vanilla-y, caramel man, not a warm fruit. Let's go. 
It's quite good actually. But one bite and that's gone. There's no more just, just pastry left now. So this is actually quite a, a good um, fruity, crispy pie. Our lunch here at Jollibee is done and dusted and was it worth the hype? Yes it was. If you love fast food, definitely check this place out. I was really surprised. It's actually really, really good. What was your favourite? My favourite menu item I think goes to the chicken sandwich. That fried chicken in the buns was everything I hoped for it to be. It was really hard to pick my favourite. I nearly picked the chicken sandwich as well, but I think I have to go with the cheesy yum burger because oh. it was just so yum. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> if you really enjoyed watching us destroy the Jollibee menu, check out these other videos that we've shot because I think you will really love these as well.